Welcome back, Thirsty Grizzlies. We're back at the Blind Pig at 12th and Lynn in Quincy for the February edition of the Beers of the Month. Damn it, it's been too long, Jeremy. We got two beers this month, like always. What's our first beer? I believe this is the one from Michigan. Yes, this one's the Dark Horse uh, Brewing. It's a Crooked Tree IPA, and uh, it's really cloudy for an IPA, but it's it's really a delicious beer. And uh, yeah, it's a good Midwest beer. It comes from Michigan. Um, it's the first time that we've had it here on tap. Uh, like Sean was saying, you can get it in bottles, um, you know, here in town, but this is the first time I think anyone's ever had it on tap, and it's a heck of a beer. Yeah, it's an interesting one in the IPA category because they go heavier into the fruits. One of the things we were talking about is the grapefruit angle that you kind of get out of it right away. They say there's more pine and everything in there. I don't get that as much, but uh, at 6%, it's a sneaky alcohol content. And you mix in some of the heavier fruit flavors. It's a good gateway IPA. It's not one that's going to get on you right away and stay there with some bitterness. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't tried an IPA before, the Crooked Tree IPA, it's a great one to start with. Get ready for the uh, February thaw. Every February this uh, time of year, this part of the uh, country, we always get uh, maybe a half a week, a full week's thaw. Grab yourself a six of this and head out to throw some disc. You were mentioning the cloudiness. As a general rule, do you want your IPAs to be less cloudy, or I, I don't mind one way or the other as long. As Man, the more good, shit but... in there, the better. <laughs> you know, right. they're putting more stuff in there. Yeah. It'll be great. Uh -huh. <laughs> cloudy way, the uh, <laughs> the Crooked Tree IPA. If you've had it in bottles, come have it on tap at the Blind Pig, Twelfth and Lynn. This is one of our uh, beers of the month. This month, uh, no different than any of the other months on the Beers of the Month here at the Blind Pig at 12th and Linden Quince. We have a second beer. This time we're heading out to the mountains. Our good buddies at Breckenridge have provided an amber ale. I have never had this Have they bought a sponsorship before. on this show yet? I know, right? right? We've had Breckenridge <laughs> on so often. And they just yeah. have quality offering after quality offering. And, Jeremy, their amber ale is no different. Exactly. It's not my fault. It's, you know, they're amazing beers. So this, I think this is our third, at least third, maybe fourth Breckenridge. But they just make amazing beers. And, yeah, this amber one, you know, we were just making fun of the, the line they have. It's as, as clean as a Colorado snow finish. And it really does have a great finish. There's, like, no aftertaste really at all. But it, it's got a lot of flavor and Again, just another great beer from Breckenridge. Yeah, it's it's caramely. It's, it's got a lot of malt to it. And with a low alcohol percentage, it's like four and a half or four less than that. Right. Yeah, you know, it's real light. It's real clean. You get an unusually warm spring day. We were talking about that a little bit with the Crooked Tree IPA. Mm -hmm. You get something like this. It's also clean. You have that surprise barbecue that one time in that's February right. when you can drag it out of the garage. This is something that's going to work for you, too. This is one of those beers that uh, if you've been kind of afraid to step out into the craft beer area, this is a great transitional beer. Right. It's not going to be so much that your palate goes, oh, what am I doing? Yeah. But it is it is one of those beers that you can take to start that process. Check this out. The uh, what is it? It's the Avalanche. Avalanche uh, Amber Ale. Amber Ale from uh, Breckenridge, our, our guys in uh, Colorado. Sean. Yeah, it's got a little caramel in it we were talking about. It's also got a little chocolate taste mm -hmm. in it. And you can also kind of pick up just some other real light notes. It's like they kept adding things to make it smoother and smoother. Got a little caramel, a little it's chocolate. Got a lot of shit in it. Some, <laughs> very, <laughs> some very light two row hops. I mean, they really did kept this kind of on the low end to make it very smooth. You want to test it? You want to try it? You want to begin the process? You could do it right here. Blind Pig, 12th and Lynn in Quincy. Come try the beers of the month. This one the same. $4 pint. $4, well worth the price. Come and drink with us. The Blind Pig.